located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002. For Dennis J. Courtney, M.D. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AIM Impact on Your Health. AIM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AIM Impact on Your Health, heard every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. AIM Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, fascinating health topics, and of course, where we do encourage you to call in to join in today. Well, just uh, to make it uh, official, yes, I'm back again. <laughs> I have to make that announcement after uh, servicing uh, about a week, a week ago and saying I was back, only to find out when I walked into my office on Monday morning, the power was off, the computers were down, the phones were gone, and so... I don't know. Um, uh, I'm not going to take that as any hint other than the fact that we're going to endure. We persevered. We are back. This is live. Of course, the date of this show is the 29th of January 2010. I guess I'm going to say that multiple times today to let you all know that you're not hearing a repeat show as you have so many times over this last month. Uh, today, we're going to open them up once again. We started doing that the last time we were together. We had a pretty good time at it. I've got some things on my plate I absolutely want to discuss with you. You might have something on your plate you absolutely want to discuss with me, uh, and then we'd all like to hear it and participate. So don't forget that number, as always, will be today, 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262. Going to open them up to you. Open phones all day today. we are getting ready for our up-and-coming guest, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Now... Uh, speaking of uh, up and coming, well, let's, let's bring that, that right into uh, play right now in terms of uh, currently who's on the agenda. We had to do some shifting. Um, I'm going to have, uh, let's see, on Monday we're going to be back together. That's, by the way, turning the page. Monday, February 1, we are turning the page. Uh, and we'll be back together then next Wednesday and Friday. As I had already scheduled for this particular week on Wednesday and Friday, I'm going to bring aboard uh, a gentleman to talk about, I believe, something that's up and coming, at least the responses that I'm getting when I'm applying these holographic chips. Remember that word, holographic chips, um, energy impregnated chips that are literally put like on one of those tattoos the kids the kids used to get uh, bubble gum and things like that. But, of course, you can see this uh, is made up of circuitry. Anyway, uh, they make uh, these, uh, the company is called Ciara. We're affiliated with them. You will probably be hearing about these holographic chips first here, but it's my um, uh, opinion that it will rapidly overtake Pittsburgh, and you'll find them moving into all aspects of, of alternative care. Uh, because they're so helpful in three main areas, pain problems, uh, sleep issues, and energy issues. So right now they make these three chips on uh, and they're called holographic chips. The company is called Ciara, C-I-E-A-U-R-A. And we're going to bring someone who actually can speak uh, pretty extensively on what these chips are, how they're made, what they're for, where you put them, and... Uh, I think it's something that I would like you to know about. We certainly um, are going to be bringing them there in the office already. I think that's why I can speak so highly of them, because when I've used them, and the, in a few cases I've used them, I've been amazed at some of the responses, some almost bordering on the miraculous and unbelievable in terms of how quickly they responded uh, to, the, to the use of the chip. Anyway, holographic chips, the company CR. Now, if you want to read some about this, before next Wednesday rolls around, why don't you go to www.drcourtney, that's D-R-C-O-U-R-T-N-E-Y, drcourtney.ciara, C-I-E-A-U-R-A, 
Ciara.com. That's www.drcourtney.com. And uh, you'll be brought to uh, literally my website uh, with the company. And you can read about these chips and get yourself in sort of a prerequisite mode to listen to Dr. Potts for next next Wednesday and uh, Friday. And then, of course, uh, after that, the following week, we have Doug Inglesby with us. He's going to be here talking about nutritional steps for beating stress, which he calls the silent killer. Going to be interested in that. Um, and we got, oh, hey, we got Ed Condrat uh, coming in uh, to town in March. And we're going to bring Dr. Ed, the ophthalmologist from uh, Phoenix, uh, we're going to bring him on the show on the 22nd in preparation for another one of his seminars, which he's going to be doing a free one and then a treatment one, just similar to what he did uh, back in the month of December. So uh, uh, right now, that's what's on the schedule. The schedule will fill up. There'll be even more. Get ready for it. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them as I bring them to you. Now, I did hear a knock at the door. Let's see if they're still there waiting. Come on the store. Hello. Welcome aboard. Hello? Yeah. Yes, go right ahead. You're with Dr. Courtney. Go ahead. Hey, Doc. Danville, how you doing? Oh, how you doing? Danville, you see me, huh? We're, we're alive and well. We're kicking. Yeah, yeah. I'm at, I'm at my friend's uh, gas station here where we're Getting ready. There's a big snow supposedly coming tonight, like five, six inches. Oh, you July. people that are a little so. south of us are going to get pelted with snow. We're just getting the frigid weather, but you're going to get the. Actually, I heard you're going to get an ice storm. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, I don't know. That that's even worse. Is that uh, cracks all the trees, and we got lots of big trees here. Yeah, Danville, get ready for it. They're saying between, uh, if I remember the weather reports of last night, between a quarter of an inch and up to two inches of ice which is not good for power lines. So I hope that you're in the snow side of the of the wave, which is moving just east or west to east. Across yeah. the, across I talked the... to, um, uh, uh, I, I said to uh, my buddy, I said, go to Dr. Courtney one morning, and he says, not on, he's not on. I said, uh-oh, I hope he's not. Uh, oh, man. Uh, it's not your gallbladder again, is it? No, <laughs> it's not the gallbladder. Gallbladder's out. No, this one was, um, I, I don't know, I, uh, I guess uh, just environmentally, the wiring to this floor of the building uh, completely went out, and it took power companies and electricians two and a half days to restore power here, and that's what did it. So I walked in on Monday and completely got caught off guard. So every, something's trying not to not to allow me to come back on the air, but I'm resisting it, and I'm on the air. This one's a live one today, as you well know, and uh, they're going to be live from here on out. No more repeats. Did you uh, did you say you had your gallbladder taken out? Oh yeah, that was in December. Was that? Uh, that was in December 11th. I had that removed. That was you know that was the big issue with my health problems. My main health problem in 2009 was a, a gallbladder that kicked up a gallstone and caused all sorts of trouble. Uh, and up until the time that that gallbladder removed, literally, it could have happened again. Uh, because there are many multiple stones in, the, in that gallbladder that could have blocked the duct. But now... What happens? What happens uh, can you function? You don't need like a colostomy bag or anything, do you? Oh, man. Gallbladder surgery. you got to be checking around. Uh, you oh, you may be one of the few. You may be one of the few that still has a gallbladder. But i got to yeah. tell you, there's a lot of people that you don't need a colostomy bag. You just uh, uh, space out your diet so that you okay. eat multiple meals instead of you know three big ones and you're fine. All right, Doc. You have yourself a good one. Danville, so nice to hear from you. Get ready, Danville. It's coming. I hope you don't get the ice. I hope you get the snow component. Well, hopefully we'll get the snow. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, Danville. Check in with us. Let me know how it went, okay? Okay. All right. Wouldn't you know? Well, you know you know everything's all right when Danville's back. Here we are. I'll mention it again. We're al I'm alive, and we're live, and uh, we're bringing you uh, our show, AM Impact on Your Health, as we do each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. Um, I'm going to keep mentioning the dates because there's people that just turn in and tune in at uh, various times, and they're going, I'm is he live again today? Or is that a repeat? No, it's not a repeat. Today's the 29th of January, I believe we're right about that, 29th of January, 2010, and I'll have to mention that a few more times for all of you to just to keep this in mind, and uh, we're, talking about, uh, well, we're talking about what you want to talk about today, if in fact that's okay with you. Uh, the number to do so, 
425-6262. As I say, I got some things on my plate. Some things I was actually just getting started discussing the last time we were live, and lo and behold, the bongos came and ushered me on out of here. So uh, why don't we do this much uh, for the moment at least. Let's take a short break, letting all you folks, if you have a mind to, give you some time to step away from the radio. Grab your phone if you want to, 412-825-6262. We're alive and live today on the 29th of January, 2010. Uh, we're back. Hopefully nothing else will happen to, <laughs> to interfere with us continuing to come back. Uh, and we'll be back in just a moment as we open the phones up to you. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. NSJ Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Want to help your family eat healthier? Instead of learning to disguise tofu in wondrous ways, how about some real nutritional power? If your family has the typical American palate for fries, pizza, and burgers, giving your family the blessing of good nutrition is a struggle. Fruit of the Spirit is the answer for your family's nutritional needs. Fruit of the Spirit is an all-natural whole fruit puree made from fresh fruits native to the Holy Land with alkalizing minerals. Fruit of the Spirit was five years in the formulation, the work of a team of top nutritional experts with independent science to confirm its antioxidant power. One ounce a day provides the equivalent of five servings of fruits and minerals. Fruit of the Spirit is convenient, affordable, and delicious. Even your picky family will sing the praises of Fruit of the Spirit. Give your loved ones the blessing of good nutrition. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruit the Spirit, a blessing for your good health. That's 1-800-442-3793. Call them now. 1-800-442-3793. 6283. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to AIM Impact on Your Health. Here on our uh, return to uh, the airways, a uh, detrimental as it has been to try to do so, uh, we're back with you alive and live today here on the 29th of January. I keep saying that so that you folks know this is not a repeat show. This is this is me back with you, allowing you, by the way, to set the agenda if you have a mind to. 412-825-6262 is the number to do that. 412-825-6262. You knock on the door. I'll let you in, and we'll find out what well, what's on your mind. Um, one to mention, because I you know, hearing Deborah Ray in the background talking about Fruit of the Spirit, uh, there was that time at the, in the beginning days of uh, December when we did a couple of live shows. But they said, hey, don't buy that stuff. My God, wait. Just wait. Don't buy it. Because uh, I knew, and I let you know, there's going to be a tremendous discount on the product, which uh, um, is a wonderful product. Uh, you've heard Deborah talk about it. We had uh, 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 Deanna Naylor. Vice President of the company. We had uh, Dr. Peterson, who actually formulates the stuff. You're getting a pretty good picture of this wonderful stuff called uh, Fruit of the Spirit. 14 uh, biblical fruits, parade, parades of biblical fruits, uh, giving you five servings of both uh, uh, fruits and vegetables in an ounce. It tastes real good. Your problem, as I'm finding out, and I keep bringing, bringing that message to you, is a Staying away from it. It's supposed to last a month, and it'll do so easily unless you get to quit nipping at it multiple times during the day. Well, you really don't have to quit nipping at it, but uh, 
Uh, I understand how, how good it tastes. Uh, kids will have no trouble taking this. My 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 guys, my four boys. Uh, uh, and I got 11 and 12 in it, and they'd be the ones that would be. Oh no, not that again. But they don't. And so I tell you, you want to try some too. But now you can do it at a much reduced cost. What used to be $39 in those days of December now has dropped to 29 bucks. So uh, here's a number. Uh, it's the same number that Deborah mentioned just a moment ago. I'm mentioning it to you. Write it down. 1-800-442-3793. Fruit of the Spirit. Uh, if you come into my office, you'll get a free swig of the stuff. Because uh, I think, well, uh, I'd just like to be able to do that for you. So that you know that what I've told you about how good this stuff tastes is, in fact, uh, true and accurate. So you get those 14 uh, parade biblical fruits as well as the alkalinized minerals from, and uh, I don't the to ever say it, from the Dead Sea, plus uh, resveratrol, which is a nice extract from grape, uh, from the grape uh, that has a tremendous number of uh, positive properties. So that's that's the Fruit of the Spirit's message, you know, Fruit of the Spirit's message. It's now okay to buy that stuff again, 800-442-3793. Uh, while waiting for you to knock on the door, that number 412-825-6262, to get on in here to help set the agenda is the same as it has always been. Uh, today I'm under the, uh, just going through my computer, checking all my emails, and of course uh, Mercola keeps sending me stuff, and he's got a, a very good job. He dutifully uh, runs probably one of the best uh, um, email bulletin blurbs uh, of, of, of the alternative realm of anybody. Anyway, he mentioned something today. It sort of triggered me because it's been a philosophy of mine, and I understood it to be a philosophy of Joe Mercola's, uh, about recommending multiple vitamins. And every one of you out there are, are taking one. And um, she was, for the longest time, uh, patients would come into my office and, and really be earnestly asking me, what multiple vitamin did I sell? And I said I sold none. And my dilemma back then was uh, this issue of synthetic vitamins, synthetic multiple vitamins, which um, is not really uh, a defendable form of vitamins. And, and, but yet, in the marketplace, it is the most commonly found, uh, it, it's, the, it's the way that vitamins are most commonly found. When you turn that label around and you see a bunch of uh, individual vitamins and in, in milligrams, uh, the highest likelihood is that these are synthetic, number one, and they are uh, isolates. They have been uh, not only synthetically made, but they have been uh, not left intact with uh, the whole food source at which they were originally uh, identified and can be and can be found in in some very high quality vitamins. So Joe, Joe put out a blurb today that uh, caught my eye, and uh, a couple of things. He makes four points, and I want to bring them to you. If you and many of the listeners to this show and to this station uh, absolutely take multiple vitamins, I want you to take multiple vitamins. But I want you to keep in mind the source that which these vitamins come from, and uh, it's uh, it's not too um, um, off off the beaten path to talk about how you should be looking for those vitamins, what source uh, would be best, and what to stay away from. Um, in, in the synthetic world, uh, we'll talk about them in a minute. Uh, there are four points that Joe wanted to make. I wanted to make those four points that I, thought, I think he, uh, he correctly elaborated on, and uh, I'll make those in just a minute. But I do hear a knock at the door, so why don't we let him, let him in the store. Come on, hello, and welcome aboard. Hello. Good morning, Dr. Courtney. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey. Is this Faith without the rasp? Yes, isn't that Faith, amazing? Faith, you've been up gargling for at least an hour and a half. You have no rasp in your voice whatsoever. I wish I knew how it came and went. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely use that to my Ah, hey, welcome, uh, Faith. How you been? Uh, what's, what's, new? What's, what's on your agenda? Well, lots of good stuff. I just wanted to say I'm so glad that you are... Not only alive, alive and live. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. alive and live. Yeah. Yes, it's really nice to hear you. Um, I just wanted to call because um, I know that your listeners have uh, heard me say many a times on your show, um, talk about Pam 
Bryan and Tucker Brush Farm. She is the woman who started the uh, Firehouse Farmer's Market in the Strip. Uh, boy, do we know that place well, huh? Yes, we and then, do. And then you told me, I didn't quite realize she, there, <laughs> she she kicked that off. That's very interesting. I wonder what a, what a gal, because she pulled a heck of a, uh, a, a, a symphony together by all those players down there, all of which grow everything organically in the cell. Of course, it's closed right now. How much is it? not going to open until maybe March or April again? It usually opens in May. It oh, breaks on okay. Mother's Day. Okay. And then it closes right after the week before Thanksgiving, I believe. All right. So how many times when we used to do our Friday segment that we talk about the farmer's firehouse, firehouse market, and this is the lady who got it all going. And I understand she's going to be a guest on your show, which is uh, Sunday mornings on 13, is it 11 o'clock? 11 a.m. 11 o'clock in the morning, Faith. And yes. you have this uh, this lady who, who evidently is uh, really connected, I guess is a good word, in, into the, uh, the the local farming, uh, what would you call the DSA or what do you call them? Yes, she is not only is she the um, person who found this, put together that um, fire farmers market down there, but prior to that, 11 years ago, she had founded Ten Corner Farm Alliance, which is a CSA, which is Community Supported Agriculture. A CSA. Huh? C a what does that stand for? Community Supported Agriculture. Community Supported Agriculture. Yes. She founded the whole move. That, yes, she well, she didn't follow, do the sound the movement, but she found a Penn's Corner Alliance that's been running for 11 years. So for people who think that organic is just something that happened on the scene, she was doing this. Um, she started that uh, that one with a couple of other farmers, and over these last 11 years, she's not only supplied tons of people, uh, you know, consumers in their homes with food. But she supplied some of the best restaurants in town with food from her farm. And well, it's quite interesting. Um, those CSAs are wonderful. That's one of the things I'm going to talk about and how people can get involved if they'd like to buy a share so that they know that next next summer, that they know that every week that they have a box of fresh produce grown, picked that morning, delivered to them. And I'm, well, you know what I'm hoping to do there, so we'll wait and see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right now. But I, it, it's just a great philosophy, uh, and I think that her, I, her CSA, in my opinion, is the best one in the area. So we were going to talk about that. I mean, this woman is fascinating. Though I told you, she knows so much. She's she's come from a farming background, you know, family. She knows so much about plants and animals. She's just fascinating. But besides all that, she's just a downright great person. Well, it's going to be a wonderful show you have. I'm glad to. Um... I'm glad you're having her on. I'm, I'm going to try to dial this up, but I may, I may end up going skiing this weekend. And I it may, know those boys it may create. But you like archive the shows right on your website, don't you do that? I do. Right at the bottom of the page, um, you can go uh, right to the bottom of the home page, and there's uh, talkshoe.com uh, right there. You can just click on that and choose any of the past shows. Okay, so if you miss it, folks, because it's Sunday morning, and you, know, you may have some other obligations, you don't have to necessarily miss out, uh, although we'll all try to do, listen to you live, and, and uh, here's a story elaborated by this lady who uh, i got to tell you, I tip my hat off to, because uh, we we have moved into the, we've moved into her, her corner, and she was on the corner, you say, 11 years ago, huh? Yeah, longer even. Even longer. He found it that, the CSA, and I will tell for we were talking about my, you know, going to the website to listen to the archives, if you miss it, that the uh, website is www.greenwithfaith.com because I know a lot of your listeners get me at Food with Faith. It's yes. Green with Faith. Okay, that is a little curveball there. You got You use that name Faith in a whole bunch of ways. Yeah, yeah. I know. I just I figure I got it. I might as well use it. Now what the heck? Example. Green with Faith. This one's the Green with Faith. And then uh, bottom of the page, you can click on the archives. Does it get you right about that? That's right. Okay. And if anybody wants to call ahead of time and leave a question for Pam uh, so that we can ask her on the show, they can call and leave any, a message at 888-333-300. I'm sorry, 888-300-8836. That's 888-300-8836. So if you have a particular question, Doc, and you're going to be skiing, I'll ask her for you. <laughs> okay. 
Well, thanks for uh, letting all of our listeners know. We spoke a little off here last night. I, I absolutely welcome you to, to make that announcement. I'm really, you know, I admire this lady for what she does and how she's done it. Uh, I, well, I, did, I didn't know that she was the person to admire. I didn't realize how this all got started. And, you know, as many times as I've been to that firehouse market, and maybe some of our listeners too, uh, to actually be able to hear from the person that got it all going, I'm going to try like the Dickens, but if I miss it, I'll hear it on the archives. You all do the same out there, listeners. And Faith, uh, good luck on uh, and further success with your show on uh, 1360. Uh, it's an AM station. At 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning. That's right. We're going to have to get, now that you're live and alive, we're going to have to get you to come on and answer some questions on that show. Live and alive. Yes, we can do it. We, we will arrange to do it. Okay, that sounds great. By the way, Doc, I'm very interested in these holographic tips that you're talking. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you've it. been doing vibrational medicine for so long. And your significant other, I had him trial the chip. He tells me he trialed it with you. Is that right? Uh, yeah, we're uh, actually, I'm uh, going to even do more with that today, believe it or not. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I find those kinds of things fascinating, and, um, I'm, you know me, I have, since I had that accident a while, you know, back, on, like, five or six years now, I have had, no matter what I do, I still get pain, and I'm thinking that this thing's going to be able to really help me, so... I'll try it out this weekend. And oh, I'll hey, let us know. Let us know. And my listeners would want to know, too. And and uh, Dave sort of thinks that uh, you're very sensitive to the vibrational uh, issues as opposed to, he says he's not. He well, doesn't really he do what. He's canary in the mine. Canary in the coal mine. <laughs> canary in the mine. Yeah, I, that's a very good way to put it. Yeah, we all would like to hear how you do with the chips. Uh, and don't forget next week, David Potts. Dr. David Potts, who is a chiropractor from Houston evidently had the opportunity to become involved with this company very early on and uh, he's had a lot of experience with the chips he uh, I think uh, is is designated spokesman for the company at this point and we're gonna have him next Wednesday and Friday we're gonna do part one and part two and everything you want to know about holographic chips but didn't know what to ask uh, you'll be able to find out when you listen to the shows for next Wednesday and Friday Oh, that sounds good, and, and I'll have a little report for you. And, yeah, and you can tell us uh, we will be, like, biting our fingernails and with bated breath <laughs> waiting to see how it all worked with you. Uh, okay, that's great. I, it's a deal. Okay, and by the way, just to let everybody know, yeah, the rasp is back. We cut you <laughs> mid. You, you had no rasp when you, when you came on the show. Now you're getting raspy. I don't know what's going on with you. Go gargle some more and... Uh, Good luck, and have a great weekend. Thanks, Doc. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. There you have it. Green with Faith. Not food with it. Green with Faith. Um, but you can listen to that show uh, Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, on 1360. And, uh, if I don't go skiing, I'll hear it live. And if I do, I'm going to go to Greens with Faith and um, listen to it on your archives. Anyway, uh, always nice to see a friend uh, that uh, you can help out. And this woman seems like... She's been one that we uh, really should salute and thank for all the efforts that she's given to bring us these kinds of foods, which uh, we've talked about organic so much. Anyway, Pam, the name? Um, did I make this right? Pam Bryant. That's what it is, Pam Bryant. Okay, hey, we have opened up the show to you today. We said that uh, if you wanted to call up and... Uh, let us know what's on your mind. That can be in the form of a question. It could be a comment. If you do a radio show and you have a guest, maybe you want to call up and let us know who's on. Uh, 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262. Why don't we take a short break, allowing you once again to hey, take a little pause. Maybe you'll pick up the phone and give us a call at 412-825-6262 and come back. I'm going to make those few points that the, the Joe Mercola uh, wanted to make. I think they have um, they have validity, and for our listeners and listeners to this station, uh, it's a few words to the wise should be sufficient. Be back in a moment.
just got the word. The company's new health plan has a $5,000 deductible. We have to make sure nobody gets sick this year. Remember what those doctor's visits cost for last year's colds and flu? Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, sorry, I gotta go. Love you. We can do this. We can cut the fast food lunches, soda. That's a lot of sugar. We could all take that evening walk. And hey, I heard a program about fruit. Fruit of the Spirit. What did they say? One ounce, the equivalent of five servings of fruits with herbs and minerals. We could add some to our breakfast protein shakes. Fruit of the Spirit is unique whole fruit puree. Fruit of the Spirit contains fresh fruits native to the Holy Land and alkalizing minerals from the Dead Sea. With no added sugars, Fruit of the Spirit is a unique product from five years of work from science-based nutritional experts. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruit of the Spirit, a blessing for your good health. Fruit of the Spirit, convenient, affordable, and delicious. That's 1-800-442-3793. 442-3793. Call them now. 1-800-442-3793. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, Give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. <laughs> we offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting-edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Good morning and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're here live and alive with you today on this 29th day of January 2010. I keep saying that because you've heard so many repeat shows. and I just don't want you to hear another one, so you need to know. Yes, he is live. That is a live show. Here to, we're, we're here today uh, with an open phone day allowing you to, to check in and, and get off your chest what may be building up and so much pressure building up because you haven't had a chance to release it. If you have something on, something on your mind, whether it's a question or a comment, feel free to give us a call at 412-825-6262. Uh, if it's a question, I don't know the answer, and some of your questions are so intense, I don't. Uh, our listeners tend to really help out and give you some suggestions. 412-825-6262. We were talking about Joe Mercola's website and the fact that uh, uh, as I was looking at my breakfast nook this morning uh, and, and saw we were of like mind in this and in many cases uh, that happens with Joe and I. But in this issue where uh, you expect alternative medical doctors to really espouse the use of vitamins, um, you'd think, well, any, you know, the, the, these doctors would be absolutely in support of whatever vitamins I'm taking. And as it turns out, the whatever part of that is probably incorrect. Whatever vitamins you're taking actually could potentially be even toxic to you because in the highest percentage of cases, they're synthetic, number one, and they're once uh, uh, removed from uh, the whole food source from which they are found, um, they don't act synergistically again. Anyway, there are four points that Joe wanted to make. I'll just make those four. It's a lengthy email, and he had so many emails that, that are that way. But the four points are these. Number one, with respect to synthetic vitamins, when you turn that, when you turn that, um, that bottle of vitamins around and you see nothing but a list of of chemical names, you know you've got a synthetic vitamin. Then you just look at the milligrams there, and uh, you know how much of supposedly of that vitamin you have. But those are synthetic isolates. And I, I point to the second word, synthetic number one. Number two, they're isolates because they do not exist in uh, their natural state with the enzymes and minerals and a whole host of other things that are found within the food source from what, where they originally came. And once, <coughs> excuse me, once the food source is removed from the equation, 
then all the synergism is lost. And the potential to help you is equally lost. Anyway, the four points, let's, let's listen to them. Number one, nature intended, Joe says. Nature intended for you to consume food in whole form because all the vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and enzymes are together in one package. They work synergistically, just mentioned that a moment ago, to give your body the nutrition it requires for optimal health. That's point one. Point two, your body, another point, Joe, I like what you're, the point you're making, your body only absorbs a small percentage of an isolate form of vitamin and mineral, and it utilizes even less. You get the best bioavailability in, bioavailability in whole food form. Number three, Synthetic vitamins often give you massive quantities of some nutrients, usually the most inexpensive ones, and you got a little quotation marks for emphasis there, and insufficient quantities of others uh, not balanced. And on point number four, Joe says you can experience side effects of synthetic isolates from the additives and the unnatural state of the synthetic supplement. Things to keep in mind. I know, um, uh, and, and by believe you me, in my office, as patients come in to see me, I often uh, worry about the shopping bag syndrome uh, because when I see a patient walk into my office and they've got a bag with a handle on it that looks like it came from South Hills Village, uh, I know what's in the bag. And it certainly isn't what was on sale at Macy's, okay? It is loaded and chock full of vitamins. And uh, it is the intention of that, uh, that patient to show me what he or she is taking. And it's just voluminous. And in those cases, I can almost always tell you that the vitamins that are selected, because there's so many, there's so many vitamins that they are taking, vitamins and minerals and other supplements and herbs and the like, that uh, if they're to buy the top of the line, high quality whole food source, they literally would need a, what would be the equivalent of a mortgage every month. It is just such an expensive proposition. You don't need all those vitamins. I tell them, you know what, uh, put all that stuff back in that bag. we got to talk. We have to talk. And maybe this talk, if it does nothing else, is going to save you an awful lot of money. Get a good multi. Get it from a whole food source. Joe says it so, and uh, I wholeheartedly agree. The point that the other points to make with respect to uh, these uh, vitamins are there are four points. Joe's working nice uh, for a, of, of one category, four of this category of in terms of uh, how do you select the vitamin? Here you go. Point number one, Joe says you must avoid additives or synthetic nutrients. All right, you can understand that. We just got done uh, mentioning in the previous four points why synthetics are not good. Here's some things that weren't mentioned and how you should be selecting uh, your vitamin and must be produced by a highly reputable company. Don't be looking for the least expensive, That because you're going to absolutely get synthetics. They're going to be isolates, and all of the points that Joe mentioned are going to be applicable because of it. Uh, the shopping bag syndrome normally is loaded with these kinds of vitamins, i got to tell you. Um, uh, so you need to be finding a reputable company that prides itself, especially on whole food sources. Uh, you must go beyond the RDA requirements. Of course, <coughs> we all know those to be ridiculous. And you must include the added bonus of essential minerals. <coughs> the minerals are needed in order to allow <coughs> as, as a cofactor for these vitamins to actually work and participate in the enzyme process of the metabolic pathways that they are involved with in a multitudinous areas throughout the body. So I bring that to you today simply because, uh, well, Joe uh, sort of tintillated me a bit with his uh, email, and then uh, we struck a chord. We, got a, we had a, a meeting of the minds of uh, whenever I get the opportunity. I had mentioned it before, but... Uh, maybe not with a backup, and that's probably uh, why I wanted to do it today. So that's, uh, that's it for Joe. We are here today allowing you to come on in and weigh in uh, on whatever's on your mind, 412-825-6262, 412-825-6262.
412-825-6262. Open phones. We are both alive and live today on this 29th day of January. Uh, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about something I'm quite proud of, and I'm starting to scream from the rooftops because I, I, I'm told by patients who come see me, you don't talk enough about what you do. And you need to talk about yourself. Well, it's tough to talk about myself, but it's not too tough to talk about what we do here. And one of the things we do is ECP. you got to keep your ears open. If you're, if you're a male over the age of 50 and a female postmenopausal by about five years, you need to be understanding what ECP is. When we return, that's what I'm going to talk to you about. Be right back after this short break. lunches, soda, that's a lot of sugar. We could all take that evening walk. And hey, I heard a program about fruit. Fruit of the Spirit. What did they say? One ounce, the equivalent of five servings of fruits with herbs and minerals. We could add some to our breakfast protein shake. Yes. Okay, you look too tall for when you fruit come the back. Spirit I won't fresh keep you for those two to calls. The Holy Land. Thank you, Barry. Okay. Minerals mm -hmm. from the Dead Sea. With no added sugars, Fruit of the Spirit's unique product from five years of work from science-based nutritional experts. Call 1-800-442 3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruit the Spirit, a blessing for your good health. Fruit the Spirit, convenient, affordable, and delicious. That's 1 800 442 3793. Call them now. 1 800 442 3793. This is Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. <laughs> Oh, there are those bongos, usually signaling our way out of here, but we're not out of here yet, folks. We're with you, and uh, the bongos will come in a little later and let us know when it's time to leave. Uh, but it's not time to leave. You're here with me today, both alive and live, waiting for you to, uh, well, allow you to set the agenda, 412-825-6262. I uh, will promise you that I'll get this subject of ECP discussed, uh, and especially if not today, in this totality, my the Monday show, which we're going to owe it up again and be with you. But in the interim, as it so often happens, we have a couple of knocks at the door. Let's take them in kind. First up, come on in the store. Hello and welcome aboard. Hi, Dr. Courtney. Hi. Welcome back. Hey, thank you. I was hoping that sometime this spring you could uh, bring on some of your uh, colleagues, maybe Dr. Roberts, Dr. Sinatra. I know that you do, you folks do similar things, but it'd be nice to just hear you guys chat. Well, you know, um, it's funny, uh, Dr. Uh, Jimmy Roberts, uh, uh, unlike Dr. Sinatra, I just know. He's an acquaintance, distant. Jim Roberts, a close friend of mine. We speak all the time. We have patients that we share, and, and uh, he absolutely is going to be easy to bring aboard. Uh, right now, I've got two of his patients who literally go all the way to Toledo to see him, but uh, do things like chelation and ECP in my office because I'm geographically more pleasing than the, the four and a half hour ride to Toledo. But very good suggestion. 
I already actually uh, have one up to you on that because I spoke to him last week and said, you need to be telling me when you can come on the show. He's a busy guy, but I promise you he will be here as well as some of my other friends. i got some great, great friends that uh, have done wonderful things, written books and so forth, and I'm, I'm real proud of them, and we'll bring them aboard. You should, you'll have some great guests in 2010. Well, I'd, uh, I'd like to hear you and Dr. Roberts talk about the, some of the things you, you mutually do with the heart stuff, and I'd also like to hear, uh, I guess he does some things with magnets and uh, oh, he's got two, wild, wonderful things he does. Yeah, he's got two huge magnets. He teamed up. And I'll let him tell the official story of it because I'm not going to be able to. But he teamed up with uh, uh, Dr. Bon Lee from Canada. Dr. Bon Lee is like the world-renowned expert on magnets. And they got a magnet literally uh, uh, that fits in a building had to be built around it. Okay, it's huge. And there is a physiological and uh, medicinal benefit to bringing into alignment these magnetic fields. I'm going to stop right there. I'll let Jimmy talk about this because he, he teamed up with Dr. Bon Lee and he now has many patients who have been exposed to these magnets and uh, he can tell us about how they work. So you're, you're right about uh, his uh, endeavors in the magnets. Uh, his book, by the way, which I recommend to everybody, and uh, especially if you are of the, how old are you, might I ask? 60. Okay, well, you've got to have this book because... The book is called Reversing Heart Disease Now. Are you familiar with the title? I've got it, yeah. Oh, okay. That is the primer because we've often um, laughed about this because I said, Jimmy, um, I could have wrote this book. This book is stuff I've been doing for the longest time, but nobody would have ever bought it because I'm not a cardiologist. You, Being a cardiologist in the world of now as you are, you write the book with Sinatra, and it's a, it's a big success. But we laugh because... The things, and we have, we have like-mindedness about how it is that cardiovascular patients should be managed. He's got an edge on me, though. He is a cardiologist, so he can take it to the next level. I sort of have to yield to him uh, when it comes to the invasive side of the equation. But when it comes to, uh, and if you read the book, you know, what, how, how you manage inflammation. What do you do about accumulation of plaque? How do you get off medicines? That book is a primer. I tell all patients that if they go to their regular doctor, by the way, do you do this? Do you actually carry that book in and set it up on your doctor's desk? I do, I do not. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what, I recommend, because I do a show sometimes in which I tell you these, these are the eight lab tests that you want to ask your doctor to order. And I say in the show, look, I want to be a fly on the wall when you ask your doctor this, because he's going to say to you, where did you get this stuff from? Okay? <laughs> That's right. So I say, and I have said, and if you have this book, you can get away with this. I say, if you go into your doctor's office and you put that book up on his desk and you say, hey, I've just got done reading this book, and there are eight lab tests that we just have to order, he'll order them then. Well, I'm afraid if I put the book up and, and say those things, he might have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it, it, it's, it's for truly sure that without the book, he's going to have a major uh, event. It may, it might be he's going to have to excuse himself to take a Valium because <laughs> That's to, about it. to be able to deal with a, a patient asking for lab tests that he never orders and justify why. Um, anyway, the book, if you have it, as you know, is a great read, and uh, you're going to find out when we bring Jimmy on the show that uh, that we do well, like like things. Well, that, that's great. We're, we're thinking alike. And, and one other thing, sure. maybe if, if you have uh, a minute or two with with these uh, with the great guests that you bring on, you might you might uh, I'd be interested in in some of the things that they take. Um, their supplements, you mean? Kind of their secret. Like okay. maybe maybe somebody says, uh, I I eat two cloves of garlic today. I think it's really important. Or I think chlorella. Or I think this is just the uh, this, this is a, something that I wouldn't be without. That, that's kind of what I'd like to hear you. You know what? I, and, and I have to admit, I've never really done that. But uh, it's sort of like when I listen to interviews on the TV, uh, they ask these standard questions like, what would you rather be, a chair or a car? <laughs> and so it's like the standard closer line that, that, that I hear journalists ask. Well, I won't be asking whether you'd be a chair or a car, but 
to ask, okay, in these remaining moments, how about telling them, I, I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start doing it. Yeah, they, they like, what's your secret? Their secrets, their yeah, secrets, what is they, your secret? Very revealing. Great question. Wonderful call. Uh, keep on listening out there and uh, take the book to the doctor's right. office. Okay. <laughs> Want to be a fly on the Actually, would love to be a fly on the wall when you have the book in your hand. This is how it goes, folks. 412-825-6262. Got another caller out there, I believe. Come on in the store. Hello and welcome aboard. I guess I, I'm, I'm, uh, good morning, Dr. Corey. Yes, good morning to you. Nice to hear your voice. I just wanted to make a couple, just a couple of comments. Uh, with, when they're talking natural versus synthetic, mm -hmm. um, it is my belief, okay, that in order to have balance, you don't necessarily favor one over the other. Although, I'll tell you, it makes perfect logical sense to favor all natural, okay? Whole food, yes. Yes. However, synthetics do play a significant role, and we wouldn't know a lot about natural uh, supplements without the investigatory research that created the synthetic substances that pervade, I think, the vitamin industry to date. And I will say, since most people are looking for optimum performance or even above optimum performance, the synthetics do play a significant role, and I, they have in my life. And so what is, I think the perfectly logical answer is to take them both. I mean, well, let, let, me, let me throw one other curve at you, and I know your voice you frequently call. Let me throw one other thing in here that uh, allows you to ponder maybe additionally, which is how about when it comes uh, to isolates, okay, there is a synthetic isolate, which is completely derived from the laboratory. Got that? as opposed to a whole food extracted isolate. Now, to me, that's the next refinement, because you can get vitamins that, that have a milligram on them because they've been isolated from a food source, and in a sense, they are not synthetic. They are the actual, naturally derived vitamin. Yes, you, have, you have the problem with stabilization. There right? you go. If you're actually promised a delivery of... You know, it's always within a range. You know what? You're you're, you're my educated listener out there that introduces yet another well, new. What we point. need is someone like from Douglas Labs to come on and, and you know and debate the issue pro versus con because there's there's favor on both sides. And I read significantly amount, amounts of material with Dr. Linus Pauling. Pauling always used synthetic ascorbic acid. He got it from Bronson Pharmaceuticals. He did was, really. Oh yeah. Oh, geez. It was L-ascorbic acid. As far as the chemist is concerned, L-ascorbic acid, L-ascorbic acid, no matter where you get it from, whether you isolate it from an aerosiola berry or from a pepper or from an orange, it's still L-ascorbic acid. Now, yes, there are other constituents that come with the natural one, but we're really just talking about vitamin C. And if you're talking about vitamin C, vitamin C is vitamin C. But if you're going to talk about all the ancillary products that come with it, then you're talking whole foods. It's a, def it's a different answer. There you go. You brought in my favorite subject. I'm the guy who caused a, a groundswell and an earthquake here in this town when it comes to vitamin C. And, and, oh, yes, uh, you did. You brought up some very good Oh, geez. We don't want to go back there. Everybody was mad at me. But, uh, you well, know, you shouldn't be. You're just bringing uh, knowledge to the table. That's all. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Every good deed gets punished, you know. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks for introducing. Oh, by the way, I will say, for instance, when you give a chelation bag, now what kind of vitamins do you put in the chelation bag? Well, they uh, these are these are synthetics. That's uh, absolutely right. Absolutely. So they do play a role, and yeah, we know they work. They are synthetics because we have to anticipate what you're going to be leaching out. And we have to put that in the bag. So you make another very good point. You've made two or three of them. You know what? Didn't surprise me a bit. I expect it from you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I love your show. Keep up the good work. Ah, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, hey, those are foods for thought there. Foods for thought. You get that? Very good. More knocks. I hear more knocks. The door. Come on, this door. You're next up. You're in the arena. Hello. Dr. Courtney. Yes. Oh, a big fan of yours from Butler. Of course, we're all fans of yours. Oh, hey, nice words of yours. Thank you. I'm alive and live. Yes, we call and how is he? And my goodness, uh, turning up the, the um, 
Uh, phone lines. It was nice to hear face this morning. Boy, I got up. She uh, had no... Like, she oh, had no rasp. Good morning. There's face. She, uh, had no, she had no rasp when she first started talking to us. Yeah, then it started, yeah. Then it started. Okay. Yes, it was nice to hear from. Don't forget her show on Sunday if you can make it. I already, I already know. You already listened. All right, great. Yes, yes, a friend of mine. Well, John Smith, John and Barb Smith. Oh yes. But, yeah, um, I have a couple of questions. Go ahead. I do have a comment, and I know I'm going to get bongoed out here. Oh, the, the bongo's coming up. I oh, they're getting like, close. All right. You know what? A friend once told me that a dead horse is natural, but you can't ride it anywhere. Ooh, now there's some there's some thought there. I heard that in 1979. <laughs> and I was saying, well, what about the? He said, wait a minute, a dead horse is natural, but you can't ride it anywhere. Dead. Okay. Uh, I need to ask you about gastrokinesis. Gastrokinesis? It's a P, like uh, popcorn. Gastrokinesis. Yes, it's a paralyzation of the stomach. Um, oh, I think um, it is a K. It, it's not a P. It, it, you can't absorb any food. Yeah. You know, and I, I promised that I would call. It's, it's my friend's daughter. Yes. No, and, I think I think you're going to find out. It's not a P. It is a K. Oh, it is a K. Well, make, oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. It's, it's, ga it's, it's gastroachinesis. Uh-huh. It is a, it's a medical problem where there is no motility of the ga the the the. Uh, the small intestines or the large, okay? Uh -huh. And uh, there, is, there are a whole host of uh, causes for it, and certainly you have to get that thing back because that, that motility is what moves things through this 30 right. foot worth of small intestine. You were so right about the bongos. There they are. Now, can you, Dr. Courtney, yes. can I send her to you? Do you have a... Let, we, oh, we would. We have to work from a totally different, a completely yeah, right. different aspect. You, Absolutely. And I said, if anybody has the connections, he does. All right. Send it to me. We'll, right. we'll see her. Thank you so okay. much. Bye-bye. Bye now. Bye. There you have it, bongos. If you were left in the wings, I'm sorry. Be back with me on Monday. I'll bring you on in. I am going to talk about ECP on Monday. I promise you. Until then, this is Dr. Dennis Courtney saying so long for AM Impact on Your Health. AM Impact on Your Health is sponsored by Dennis J. Courtney, MD, Director of the Courtney Medical Group. Welcome.